Hello Aries, thank you for joining me Tootsie here at Snake Lady Tarot. Thank you for your support, thank you for being here. I'm going to take a look at your general energy reading, the energy around you, and offer some foresight messages and advice for over the next few days or so. Only take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Don't force the energy, don't force the square into a circle. If it doesn't resonate, leave it behind for someone else. Alright, and maybe you're not Aries, maybe you have Aries in your birth chart, fire in your birth chart. Maybe you're in a relationship in love or just interested in Aries fire energy. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Thank you for your support also. And you guys like the video on your way in. Subscribe. You won't miss out on any more readings or snake videos that I drop. Let's get right into it. First card I have for you is Potion. Remember to practice self-love, Aries. Remember to rest, restore your energy, regain your strength. Um, <clears throat> to meditate and keep your energy flowing, okay? Remember to practice self-love. And then we have inner knowing. Trusting your intuition, trusting your spirit guides, trusting your your gut feelings. I feel like you have a keen sense. Um, some of you for danger, some of you for energy, and some of you for decision making. You have a keen sense on, on what benefits you best, what is a sacrifice, what is a gamble, and what would bring... A positive return. Fire energy. What does Aries need to know? Messages and advice. All right. And first we have beauty. All right. This could be the town beauty, the femme fatale, someone who struggles with appearances or struggles with their selling of their beauty and then we have the air disaster um this can be aquarius this can be libra this can be air energy as well so you may be experiencing some sort of mental I want to say it's the opposite. Of, <laughs> that's what I'm, okay, confusing energy. Um, so spirit's advising to practice some self-love to get in touch with your inner knowing because um, with regards to someone's popularity or someone's beauty becoming a commodity for them, um, you may they may be experiencing a tower. So something that's based on air energy, something as simple and as fluid as beauty. Um, may come crashing down. Someone may have a, um, what you would call a rude awakening when it comes to the conceitedness, vanity type of energy. Messages, advice. Maybe some, someone around you has realized they've hit the wall. Maybe someone around you, um, is just going to have some sort of self-awareness, epiphany, about themselves all right planets houses signs aries and aries energy fire energy ninth house sun energy all right something very philosophy philosophical for you having to do it in a big way as if it came from all there is spiritual values long-range thinking long-range travel what is to be shared with those around you your willpower um, with your Aries energy, your willpower, your leadership, what you think you know about it and doing it your own way, energies so that you can meet challenges, what your desires are regarding, and results from your strength and honesty. All right, what you're able to demonstrate, what you realize, and how you present yourself and act like a leader, the creations, the gaining respect from those around you, and the things brought to life are brought to light with sun energy. So a lot of self-awareness, a lot of 
understanding and coming to a conclusion that people are paying attention to you. People are growing from you. They're learning from you. You're inspiring, inspiring those around you. Um, and I feel like you're also providing some sort of clarity. You're providing some sort of awareness to someone particular around you um, with regards to beauty, with regards to um, popularity of, of a superficial sense. Let's get some tarot on the table for you. Messages, advice for Aries, fire energy. The Star, the Emperor, the Hierophant, Four of Pentacles, Bottom of the Deck, the Queen of Cups. Now is the time for you, Aries, to present your wishes and make them known. What it is that you're wanting, what you're what you're planning for, what your goals are, what you're preparing for, this is the time to put that energy out there. Um, I feel like there, because of all of your awareness, because of your growth, a lot of open doors are coming in for you. Um, you are helping those around you, you are loving those around you, and you are in a clean, clear, flowing energy. So constant cycles, you're not stuck, you're not stagnant, you are moving, you're ascending, and this is the time to Put those wishes out there to bring those manifestations to fruition so great time for that definitely know what you're asking for know what you want and be prepared to have it with the emperor this is you in your leadership role you you've been a leader aries and now you're realizing the power that comes with that not only the responsibilities and duties but the power that comes with that And with the Hierophant, I feel like you're going to be able to Okay. I feel like you're going to be able to create something unexpected. Something unexpected is coming through for you as a blessing, as a gift, as an opportunity for you. I want to get some clarification on this, but um, bottom of the deck, I had Queen of Cups clarified by the High Priestess here. Um... And I feel like this is because you're you're very open, you're paying attention, you're open-minded, open-hearted. Spiritually, you're connected. Um, you understand things on a deeper level here, Aries. Um, most of the time, you don't have to ask for clarification. You have a sense of already knowing. You have this inner knowing here. All right. Um, This is what gives you the power of being such a great leader, such a great authority figure, um, responsible and able to see an outcome before the steps have been taken. All right, um, let's go ahead and get some clarification for you here. Messages, advice for you, Aries. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups, and the Star. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I've got a lot of duplicates here for you. A lot of Major Arcana. 
The star clarified by the Ten of Cups, you're wishing for a true happiness for everyone around you, everyone in your circle, everyone that you're taking leadership, anyone that your willpower and actions affect. Um, you're moving forward with honesty and strength and creating a lot of growth within your own circle of friends and family. Um, I foresee this affecting generations, maybe in a sense of breaking generational curses, but making major changes. With your emperor, with leadership, you may be also having the end and the beginning of a new cycle. Um, you may be having to leave some sort of connections behind due to the leadership. You may be having to make choices that aren't benefiting other people. It may cause them to choose to leave the connection or break a connection and a connection. That could be in love. That could be in life. That could be in friendship, neighbors, colleagues, whatever this is for you here. I did a reading earlier, I believe it was for cancer, but uh, heavy lies the head that wears the crown, right? With great leadership and authority comes great res great responsibility and great sacrifice. And I feel like there's going to be a, um, a sacrifice or you're making a sacrifice in this role as leader here. In your leadership role, you are making sacrifices over the next few days or so. Decisions, choices... Um, but moving forward, um, great inspiration, great power, great choices. You're moving ahead because of your ability to keep moving forward, to keep ascending. These are blessings coming in for you. Great, genuine blessings, um, which is, which is why even your dreams and your hopes and your wishes are so pure and domestic bliss, domestic happiness, um, you're not moving forward in a selfish way. You're still moving forward trying to fill up your cup for those around you. Um, so you are being blessed here. Uh, I would say divinely guided even. Moving in a very innocent, pure type of way here. Presenting and giving off good, genuine energy for those around you. You do wish the best for those around you in a major way with your ninth house energy. All right, um, Four of Pentacles, letting go of selfish energies, letting go of things that only benefit yourself and moving towards the light, moving towards the moon, moving away from what you are unsure of and moving towards the truth. Eight of Cups can also represent moving towards the truth and moving away from empty cups, moving away from what doesn't benefit you. Finally for you, Aries, my darlings, I have the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, clarified by the star. What you're bringing forward, not only are you aware with inner knowing, not only are you clear mentally, physically, even your vision is clear. You can see the false fame, the false popularity with this beauty queen here, with this energy here. You can see where the flaws are within. You can see truth. And this energy is what you're nurturing those around you with. I feel like you're providing some sort of truth, some sort of clarity for those around you. It's nurturing. It, it, um... It fills a void that negative, toxic energy cannot get in, if that makes sense. It creates a barrier. Major opportunities for you. Just looking at the bottom of the deck here, major opportunities for you. Opportunities to be clear. Um, to be clear with communication by just letting them know and, and having conversations. Messages, texts, phone calls, emails, just clear communication about these, about opportunities, about changes, about 
ideas, suggestions, and being able to just show them as well. Ace of Cups, genuine opportunity, a, a true blessing, a true wish come true. All right. This is a lot of ascension for you. A lot of choices, a lot of opportunities for you here, Aries. Also, a lot of recognition for you. You're going to be noticed. You're going to be, I want to say, put on a pedestal. You're going to be shown a lot of gratitude. A lot of grace. I have seduction here even. And highest self. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be celebrated. Even seduced. Um, and it's going to create some sort of a healing energy for you. And allow you to get in touch with your highest self. Um I feel like you're going to feel blessed. Oh, yes. Unconditional. Unconditional love. That's the energy you're going to feel is, is, the, is a blessing of unconditional love. Knowing that you're truly cared for, truly um, looked up to, respected, honored by everyone around you here. You're, you've taken the leadership role and you're leading people into a um, healthy place, into a productive, healthy place. I've been having pass the baton, pay it forward type of readings for you. And it seems as though this is a cycle that continues. Let's get down to it. I have the rebel deck for you. Messages, advice for you, Aries. What do you need to know here? All right. And I have for you, they broke your heart, Aries. <laughs> they broke your heart. Yeah, um, this could be, you know, someone that doesn't want to follow suit, someone that doesn't know how to respond well to your leadership and the emperor energy. Um, you know, one bad apple can ruin the bunch. So it may be a separation from someone around you. Let's take a look at the energies. Aries. Messages, advice for Aries. Fire energy. What does Aries need to know? You've definitely been owning your power. And this is the time to receive gratitude, appreciation. They're celebrating you. They notice you. They respect you. You're being honored. Twin flames. They feel connected to you. They feel as though you're the future. They're, they're being divinely guided to you with cosmic purpose. You're their north node. You are their life, you know, their path forward, their mission. Air energy. Aquarius. Gemini. Libra. Someone around you, they could be having this air energy. That could be this air disaster and reflections and projections. What you see upon yourself as the emperor is what you're projecting to those around you. And it is growth. It's leadership. It's beautiful connections. It's education, experience, love, and growth. And at the bottom of the deck is the separation, the longing. Someone may be separating from you or, or may be feeling a, a longing messages, advice for you. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is calling. Surprise, intuition, or meeting. Invi surprise, invitation, or meeting, and hesitating. The golden mirror. 
self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationships, love bombing. The person you may have the disconnection with may be someone that's been trying to love bomb or, or, sh or show a one-sided, self-absorbed narcissist type of relationship. Um, or this could be the energy of you and your twin flame just kind of love bombing each other and wanting to give and receive that warmth of twin flame energy. Um, and again, at the bottom of the deck here, the Grim Reaper, the death, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So someone may be knowing that they have to move on, that there is no longer a connection here as well. So you've got twin flames and you've got a separation and a relationship ending. No second chances. Growth and separation. They broke your heart, Aries. Remember. All right. Whoever this is resonating for you, um, they're starting to feel the burn at this time. Sagittarius, fire energy, 13, the lower and the higher self. The lower and the higher self. All right. Messages, advice for you. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, more fire energy, indulging in the impossible pleasure. So you may, be, you may be finally getting a chance to receive love that you've been missing out on here, Aries. Cupid Zero, Twin Flames, um, Ace of Air, Ace of Swords, right? Ace of Air. Let's take a look. I'm going to pull some romance for you. And we'll close it out. Messages, advice for you, Aries. What do you need to know? Fire energy, twin flames, Cupid's arrow, unconditional love, ten of cups. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, your bond is going to deepen with who you have a connection with, your twin flame energy. And for someone that broke your heart, you've got this Grim Reaper card here, this death card, the separation, a longing. Eight of Cups, baby. Moving away and walking towards a, a, a deeper connection, a connection worth effort. Getting to know each other, revealing innermost selves to each other, and deepening the bond. Be receptive, and we have the unknown. Be open to changes that you don't know are coming. Changes you don't know are coming. Be open. Things may be different. Things may not go the usual way, but be open to it. And at the bottom of the deck, playfulness. Be open. Be receptive. Be playful. And my final piece of advice for you today, Aries. All right, I've got a few for you. All right, I've got a few. Just one more in here. There we go. <clears throat> my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Someone doesn't plan on letting go of their connection with you. But we give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. It is important right now, Aries, to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give it to yourself. Self-love, first card we pulled out for you. Potion, remember to practice self-love. Number 24 reduces to six. And then we have a new beginning, Aries. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. 
All right, be open, be playful, be receptive to the unknown. That's what I have for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support, Aries. Um, thank you for your comment. Yeah, blah, excuse me. Blah. Thank you for your comments, your support, your donations. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for your subscriptions, you guys. Um, sorry for the delay with everything. Mixing some things up at home, but we're right back at it. So stay tuned. You won't miss out on any more readings or snake videos. Um, good luck with everything. Be open. Be receptive. Be playful. And have some self-love. All right. Good luck with everything. Blessed be.